It is the Riot Podcast. Good Thursday to you, August 25th. Thanks for clicking on this show or putting it in your feed. Uh, that's where you say, oh, you're <laughs> welcome. Okay, uh, Nikki, Isaiah, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. What's in the show today? Today, we talked about how mosquitoes may be more inclined to bite certain people than others. Yeah. Could you listen to that? I did not listen to a second of it. So you don't know why they might bite some people more I than others? I don't have a clue, but I could, I could give a guess. Okay. Sir. We'll see if you're right. Okay. So for me, like when I'm out and about, if I'm in my backyard, my backyard is infested Aww. with mosquitoes. When I talk uh-huh. about infested, I have never been bitten so many times by mosquitoes in such a short amount of time. If I let Jim out, I'm coming in with like three mosquito bites. So when he's like lingering around out there, uh-huh. I'm like... Come on, let's go. (laughs) I've been bitten six times in the last three minutes. I assume that it's like the uh, the sweeter the blood, you know, the scent on you. If you get that, if you get that juicy juice pack on your neck, you know, and that the mosquito gets a little sniff of you. They see the vein. I mean, I know for me, like obviously, I've got that sweet berry juice in me, and Uh I know that they they smell me for a second. They're like, that's some good stuff, and they hop right on. Well, we maybe for Hudson, they they don't get bit as much. Maybe we won't spoil the other two main things, but one of them is like if you actually just sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe it's just because you're outside and you're sweating. You sweat a lot. I'm not much of a sweater. No, you don't I don't really great. sweat. Well, I'll spoil another one. Uh, the not as funny excuse. Uh, type, do you have typo blood? Type O? Yeah. I do not have typo blood. Oh, okay. I don't know what my blood type is, but it's not no, O. You assume right. it's not that one. Well, it's not O. I need you along with everybody else to listen on to that segment, and then you'll find that there's two other explanations. <laughs> or it could just be environmental for his, because mm-hmm. I know for a while there you weren't doing anything with your yard. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think that maybe a lot of the mosquitoes and bugs moved in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they probably and then did. when you cleaned up, they were like, no, no. What are we doing here? <laughs> we They're still They're a little upset here. with me. But yeah, one time I actually had, I had friends over at my house and we were outside and whatnot, so I cleaned up my whole backyard, whatever, and I knew the, the mosquitoes are an issue, right? And so I have all these preventative measures that I go through to have, like, the mosquitoes not be as bad when mm-hmm. I have people over. I, like, spray the yard with, like, the, you hook the hose up to yeah, it or whatever. with the stuff. With the yard spray. I hit the yard spray like, a couple hours before everybody comes over. I have tiki torches that I light out there. I also have this huge, it's probably, like, like, I don't know, like four feet tall. It's this huge stand thing that's supposed to catch them, too, that's mm. out there. And when guests come over, I have bracelets for them to wear. No! Like the bug bite you're bracelets. Them out? I hand them out oh when you walk gosh. in the door. It's like you're walking into a club. I'm like, get your bracelet on. Here you go. You get stamped on the way in. Do you have a bracelet on? Did you pay no in the door? No. The, you have the, the bracelet. bracelet. And so I do all these things because I don't want people to be miserable when they're in my backyard. Sure. Obviously, great host. You guys can come over whenever you want. I've offered several times. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm not going if I have to wear a bracelet yeah, just to really? sit out You're not really selling us on What do you mean? I do all the things so you don't have to worry about it. You know, obviously, I've got the hot tub out there, so there's a big water source, oh, yeah, the mosquitoes. Like but I always keep the cover on it, and, you know, I got the tiki torches lit. I try to keep uh, the mosquitoes away. Have you ever noticed mosquito larvae in your hot tub? Oh. Never. You've never seen? Have no, you seen them? No, no. I've seen them in. Uh, I've seen them in my. Uh, like they've been in my pool. I don't have it now. Like I cleaned it up, but I have. That Gosh, has I hate out the outside. It's just they're so weird. There's like little. You'll see little brown things, and they're just squiggling around. It's just swirling around. It looks so unnatural. Never happened in his right. pool. Yeah. Well, you no, need to pass out. out to people that use your pool then yeah, besides no, his no, bracelet. Maybe a little hand sanitizer <laughs> sounds like. You no, ever... That was mosquito larva. Hand sanitizer would not help. See, for me, yeah, I always I have, I have the cover on at all times on my hot tub. Like, if I'm not in it, the cover's always on it. When I immediately get out of it, the cover goes straight back on, so no mosquitoes are... Laying eggs in the water. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. All right, well, you'll find out, and then maybe you're just in an area where it doesn't matter what you do. It's just going to be mosquitoes. Okay, guys, we actually have to, last thing on this, is you have to have you and somebody else both outside, like, test, because you might be getting bit the normal amount. Yeah. It's just you have a lot of mosquitoes. It could be that true, yeah. Yeah. We also talked about uh, how if you recently got into some college debt, Hmm. you may have a little bit less. Waking now, up this morning. I was reading about this, you know, because that's what I like to do. I like to read, I like to learn, take right, in information. Uh huh. Exactly. That's what people call me. And uh, <laughs> what I found is, don't get too excited about this student loan forgiveness deal. Well, you. Well, okay. Let me hear why. Because it may not be legal, oh. and so the courts will at some point strike it. May or may not, but likely. 
possibly. Was it likely, possibly, intentionally? What is it? There's no, Tell me. There's no 100% chance either way, but there's a chance, a pretty good chance it'll get struck well, down in court. Well, just like, kick me while I'm down. Uh, why don't we? Down. I You're woke so up this morning. I was in a great mood. I'm like, ah, $10,000 less. Now we're talking. And Hutchins like, it's not coming. Yeah, not happening. Maybe well, then not. you also have everybody else on the other side of like, you know, nothing is for free. So it's not like these companies are probably going to be like, oh, yeah, of course, we'll just take off $10,000. Uh-huh. You know, you would have have to pay for it in another way around with your taxes not us <laughs> not this guy <laughs> hey you know what if i'm paying whatever the pennies are in taxes 10k 10k makes me feel good today all right <laughs> I'm feeling real happy today. The large right. lump sum's feeling real good right well, about now. Well, you go now. outside then and sit with your mosquitoes, and we'll keep you updated on if you actually get your 10000 If off, I don't okay? get my 10000 I am blaming it purely on Hudson from this segment. <laughs> yeah. For sure, 100%. Well, enjoy the rest of the podcast today. We hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you, of course, for listening. And um, we hope you enjoy something in the podcast yeah. today. And text us and say hi at 877 to radio U. Have a good time, whether your debt is canceled or not. <laughs> or you just, you know, live. Live today like it is. Yeah. Actually, no, wait. That's bad to say because then you're just going to spend all this money. You're going to spend 10K no, in one you day. Only live once. Uh-huh. No, uh, like your school debt is canceled, <laughs> but don't spend any extra money. And then you'll find out another day if it doesn't. You guys just have fun out there, all right? You do whatever you want. Aww, go to Isaiah's place and get one of the bracelets. Yeah, you just have a bracelet <laughs> hot in my hot tub. <laughs> Bye. See you guys. Don't say we didn't warn you. This is the worst of the riot. You've heard it uh, probably in Isaiah's news. I'm assuming you said something about it. Uh, I know you did yesterday. You did. Uh, I just did. Uh, the... <laughs> Were you not paying attention to him? Yeah. No, I was, uh, yes, I was working. Uh, so the pre- President Biden, right, made an announcement yesterday that, uh, or uh, yeah, yesterday that the, actually, you just want to take this since it's in your news? It or? seems like you have yeah. it. I don't know. You were kind of killing it there yeah, right. with I, your intro. We, I assume you'd continue that. We don't want to interrupt uh, whatever amazing thing you're doing. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I think that means that he would like you to give the details. <laughs> so essentially what happened is President Joe Biden is canceling student debts for the majority of people who have student loans. Mm-hmm. Uh, $10,000 if you do not make 125 k or more a year. So it's just up to $10,000? I think it's up to $20,000, yeah. but that's okay. if you took out a certain loan. I forget what it's called. A Pell Grant. A Pell Grant. If you took out that that's loan. That's what I was researching while yes. I was trying to get all the words Thank out. You so that can that. get you up to twenty k, but for the majority of people, it's going to be $10,000. And uh, so I want to get some info here. I had a student loan. I don't know, like it wasn't through the government, but are most student loans through the government? That's a good question. Because you, do you? I think the majority of them are. I didn't have one. The majority of them are. Yes. Did you have a student loan? Yes, I still have student loans. Do you still have student loans? Yes, I still have. I just graduated like a year and a half yeah, but ago. It's not forgiven? Stop pressuring him. <laughs> They're still not forgiven. Yes. Oh, <laughs> come on. Because it's probably going to be over ten thousand yeah. if you just freshly graduated. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You didn't get a Pell Grant? <laughs> no, I got no Pell Grants. Unfortunately, I wish I did though. Yeah. Looking back uh-huh. now, <laughs> had that's I one known, of your great regrets. Isn't I have it? no idea what a Pell Grant is. Uh-huh. It probably is better off that I don't have one. If they're allowing people to have twenty k off, if you have one of those, <laughs> it sounds like it's probably worse. Worse, but you at the same time, a, I did not. You could have had a better schooling if you, you would have done that. You probably had to get a, like a master's or do something with science. It's something sure. important with your school. And Broadcasting come, didn't make the cut, yeah, I guess. I don't here. know. Well, I felt here. bad because I saw a ton of people who who went for like their master's and like just larger amounts of yeah. debt. But they don't yet make over 100 in, uh the, what is it, the 125000 uh-huh. but they have those loans that are not being forgiven with the 10000 uh, amount. Oh, yeah. Um, so, unfortunately, it's it's not taking care of everything for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it, they can't uh, necessarily do everything, but I feel like ten, anytime you get $10,000 forgiven, no matter how much you owe, that feels like a lot. It feels pretty good, yeah. It does yeah. feel pretty good. So, does it just get, like, off your loan statement, or do you get the money and then you have to be the one to be responsible uh, to make sure you actually it? use it? <laughs> Or is that if I get a like check a for $10,000, I have some friends, if they get a check for $10,000 right now, it would not go towards student loans, yeah, I can tell right. you that. It needs to be done within your payment system, because <laughs> we can't handle getting just that money. Yeah, so what, what I'm finding here is that they have, there's a 
website, a federal student loan like website, uh, federal student aid, where you can check if you're eligible. That's called studentaid.gov. But the problem is so many people are just like us. They're like, do you get it? How do you get it? How does this work? And the site is crashing because uh, they just made this announcement. Sure. Now, I did see uh, it's probably imp- important to point out that whether your student loans are forgiven or not, uh, you still don't have to pay anything. They extended the deadline until December, like the end of this year, December 31st, and they say that's it. So you have plenty of time to prepare for if you still have stuff to pay, if you're not eligible at all, you still have more on your loans that you still need to pay after the 10000 or 20000 uh, it still doesn't go into effect until next year. And they say if you're confused, don't worry. They have more news and like updates yeah. and explanations mm-hmm. coming. So they'll they'll cover it all. If you're confused, so is everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna get ten thousand off then. I hope so. Yeah. I can only hope I do <laughs> if I can just figure out this old website here. So <laughs> If you guys do not know how to do it, you need to research it because if you miss out on this, you're going to be feeling real, real silly in a couple of years. Yeah. That's you're right. like, you didn't get your 10000 off. You're you, like, well, you guys was, got that? You gave I couldn't the figure out the website. All that extra money? I could not figure out just, that website just, for the life of me. Couldn't been, cash it on that 10K. Making payments this whole time. Why don't just, you just have you know, your mom call? Yeah, that's yeah, what you do. Right. Hello, uh, Mr. Biden. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason, I could not get this website to work. If you My think son the, really wants wants to get his 10,000 off. If you think the website is bad. Oh, trying You're calling. talking about calling? No. Nope. There's like one guy, one 19-year-old trying to answer. You're going to be on hold for oh, so long. Yeah. Like, can you just send me cash in the mail? <laughs> I'll give you my address. It'd be easier that way. Well, he's going to let the phone just ring, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, congratulations, everybody. A it's... 10K raise for me. <laughs> Feeling real good this morning. You can finally get your truck fixed. I know. That's what I need. <laughs> It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Coming on September 1st, if you're in the United States anyways. We're in the United States. We count. Aren't we? Uh, September 1st is the release day for Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. I'm looking forward to it, I think. Are you looking forward to it even more after seeing the first reactions? I haven't seen the reactions, but okay, quick question. Uh-huh. Uh, so this is a show. Does anybody remember how many episodes? Mm. And is it supposed to be all the episodes next Thursday? Oh, or no. Or is it once a week? That would be a, a big mistake by yeah. Amazon if they did that, wouldn't it? They want to stretch this out. Yeah, they want you to keep on subscribing, to keep on logging back in every week and so I'm pretty sure you maybe get one or two uh, on September 1st, and then uh, more will come out after that. Although, don't quote me on that, because I could be totally wrong, but I just feel like it would be a big mistake. A lot of the reviewers got the first two episodes, so you're right. Probably those two episodes yeah. come out next Thursday. Well, it seems to me that uh, I think they screened these first two episodes in some certain theaters, it looks like. Uh, so some people have reviewed it that are, you know, put out their first reactions that are actually like reviewers, critics, are... and then there's also regular people that have put out yeah. that bought tickets, I guess. And so uh, what I'm seeing here is a whole lot of positive. Is it good? It seems pretty good. For one, people really seem to like that uh, the cinematography and score. It looks beautiful. It sounds great, uh, which that like that's a given with all the money they spent on it, shooting like on location in New Zealand, right? And uh, like that's something that, Should be easy to nail. They also say that, uh, like, the characters are very compelling. uh, Then the performances are pretty good. Good. Whoever Galadriel is, uh, she's supposed to be great. Good. Uh, I believe she. All positive so far. Yeah, I'm hearing all positive. Now, some people say it takes a while to get going, and it's still kind of, even after two episodes, a little unclear where it's going with everything, what's happening. So. Uh, if you're just expecting it, like they, I guess it's not that it won't grab you in the first two episodes, sure, but it's not going to be like, oh, it's not so compelling that you're like, oh, this is how we have to see how this plays out because everything isn't all maybe all set up, especially clearly at two episodes in, it might take a little while to get there. Well, I'm, I'm think I'll watch it. I don't you, know when I'll get to it, but I think I'll watch it. You don't think you'll <laughs> do it on the, uh, on that first day. Did I tell you where I'm going next weekend? 
for Labor Day weekend? No. I'm going to Niagara Falls. You are. I am. The American side or yes. the good side? I don't know if I'm crossing over. I don't know. Oh, come but... on. <laughs> We'd love to have you I know. in I'm, Canada. I'd be happy to go over. Uh, so I don't know if like I'll have time because we're leaving. If this comes out next Thursday, we're leaving uh-huh. after the show on Friday. Uh-huh. Um, so I don't know. Like I can't watch shows sometimes in the car. I'll yeah. get sick. Uh, but especially with something like this that's so like epic looking. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they would hate Morphed Clark. She's the star. She's Galadriel. She would be so upset if, if she found out you car. were watching it on your phone in the I car. Know, I know. So I think the plan is maybe when I get back or if I can the day before. But yeah, it looks good. J.R.R. Token would be, be rolling. rolling in his grave I know. Yeah, if he found out. It now, was slight, it was slight car sickness too. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But now, hold on, Nikki. Now, uh, I mean, it sounds like you're sold on it I think already. But for it. anybody else, like what about me? What if I'm thinking, well, you know, I don't know if this story really uh, appeals to me and cinematography and score, that's great. But what's going to make me want to watch? Well, what about this? What if I told you it's not all horseback riding and sword fights? What if I told you there might be some elf romance? Oh, Ooh, romance yeah. in there. Oh, okay. People are talking about uh, maybe Elrond. <laughs> Who's Elrond? <laughs> Apparently it's an elf. <laughs> And Elrond might be uh, might be getting some action. Okay. Might be setting uh, some sparks. Might be flying between the elves. <laughs> so uh, something for everybody. Yeah, it sounds that'll like. get you to watch. Uh, yep. Uh huh. <laughs> you've sold me now. <laughs> you won't hear a show like this anywhere else, and that's probably for the best. The worst of the riot. Radio U. Report here uh, from some top Wall Street analysts. Uh, they're they're trying to uh, to shame the good name of TikTok. What are they saying? They're saying that TikTok is like crack. Sure, it's like cocaine? crack cocaine. Yeah, uh, Isaiah, you've tried crack. What do you think? <laughs> Will you stop it? <laughs> you can't pin things like that on me on the radio. Well, people can tell it's a joke. Uh, I don't know. Someone could just run with that. <laughs> they keep like, oh, Isaiah, cocaine. They go together. You no, know? No, 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 maybe not. No. Maybe not. <laughs> But they say he's that, not nearly hyper enough. No, but they say that uh, this is true though. That uh, that Wall Street analysts are saying that TikTok is like crack cocaine, and they think it's going to ruin the internet. They say it's already ruining the internet. Well, now, th- and this, I think if you explain it a little bit better, what uh-huh. they're saying is the short form video mm-hmm. format will ruin the internet, meaning we can't watch anything past like a minute or two, uh-huh. where if you go back before TikTok changed how we watch a lot of videos, mm-hmm. you could um, sit down and watch something that was maybe four or five minutes longer or longer than that, like on YouTube. Mm-hmm. But now everything has become TikTok or shorts. Yeah. And so, and that's that's, that's exactly right, that they are just, uh, it, that TikTok came along and everywhere else is trying to copy it, uh, not just obviously with Reels and YouTube Shorts, but also, I didn't even realize, Snapchat Spotlight, Yeah, never even heard of that. Uh, I mean, I've heard of Snapchat, I didn't know they had their own thing. And what about this? Amazon is working on one called Inspire. For that what? That sounds horrible. Like, uh, Amazon gonna... Inspire. Yeah. Okay. Sounds kind of lame. It sounds the, like the worst. And uh, there's other ones out there as well where basically everybody's getting in on the short form video situation. Uh, but here's, a, and, now, and then when they say it's like crack, there's actually a real analogy there, which I love that they've broken it down. It's like when you have cocaine, cocaine's effects take time to set in, but crack's effect is instantaneous, but wears off quickly. Driving the user to seek their next oh, hit. Oh, to go back. Yeah, so oh. that's what the issue is. It's like the worst drug there is, this TikTok, this short-form video. And so uh, they think it's going to, to ruin the Internet. Now, do you want to know why it's going to ruin the Internet? Because it'll change every other social media and site to, well, yeah. to make people have to keep going back to that hit. It is, but worst of all monetizing short videos poses a huge problem for platforms. Oh, you're right. And advertisers. Well, because if, um, you know, you didn't know for monetizing something, Mm -hmm. it had to be a certain length. So YouTube creators would add filler 
basically. You'd be like, why is this five minute video full of nothing? Uh-huh. Uh, it, because they'd have to stretch it to make it long enough to be able to monetize it more. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you make the video shorter, then there's a problem. But if the commercial's longer than the whole video, oh, the whole video. Yeah. not usually a good uh, good scenario good there. Ratio. How well, do they monetize it? If you notice on TikTok too, like it's so simple to think about. When you're going through TikTok, you're just scrolling through, scroll through. Like if it's something that doesn't grab you right away, you scroll right through. But uh, the problem is you can do that with the ads. Uh, I mean, that's not a problem. It's a good thing. I ha- I always skip them. But uh, if for monetizing, that's not great because uh, everybody's just skipping the ads, except Isaiah. He told me he likes watching them. I do yeah. often dabble into the TikTok ads. I have bought things off them before. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Isaiah's well, keeping TikTok alive. I am. Single I'm the entity. only one. I'm, they're like, I got to click at least one cell here. But uh, but it is, but if you think of it like, oh, well, what if they just make it like YouTube always would do, like where you have to either watch the whole thing if it's shorter or you can skip it after a certain amount of time. But that would completely defeat the whole purpose, right? Because then you'd just be like, then you just log out of the app because yeah. you're like, this isn't the dopamine hit that I'm looking for. And so I'm moving along. Well, they say TikTok is poised to take in 16% of global digital ad spending this year. So 16% is just them alone. Well, uh, thanks, TikTok. <laughs> I think the uh, the answer to the to the problem could be in the question. Because okay. you think about like the issue, right, is that people's like attention span isn't long enough to be able to really focus in on some of these videos. Uh And if you really want to focus in on a video, one of the things that you can do to create a little bit more focus in your mind is if you do crack cocaine. (laughs) If you dabble into the powdered sugar, you get a little little around your nose there, all of a sudden you're locked in for at least an hour. You can get through a couple videos if you're rolling a little bit of that. I don't think that's going to be the idea that we're going with. I would hate to endorse it, but it is an an option for you. It sounds like that's what Wall Street wants us to do. I know, because no one here is saying we'll just take a break from TikTok or short-form videos. Uh No one's saying that. They're putting it together like TikTok, cocaine, TikTok, cocaine. They're starting to get that word associated. I mean, everybody uses TikTok. I mean, there it is. It's like a normal thing now. How they wrote this article, it almost they make it like seem like in some of their wording that everybody uses cocaine. They're like, it's this normal thing. It's this normal thing. They're like, yeah. Yeah, TikTok's just like crack, huh? It is Wall Street, so <laughs> I guess, I guess it, uh, it all makes sense. That's what They're just using what's familiar to them. Well, they're going to be trying to sell you more advertising it's Trying to sell you more videos. crack cocaine. Nope, not that. Yeah, it sounds like it. And then the good old cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't forget, of course, Radio U Official on TikTok, where we got some longer videos. That way it's not so bad for uh, you. It'll train your attention span to be we'll, longer. We'll bring you back. This is Radio U's Worst of the Right. So I don't know how I missed this TikTok back when it uh, it looked like it came out last month. It came out like it was, you know, <laughs> it was... scheduled for release. It was a TikTok that was posted last month. It is a, uh, <laughs> well, how old would you say this kid is? Like 12, um, maybe? I can't 12. tell because of his haircut. He looks like he's probably, I would say like, I would say like 15, oh, 15 no. 16. No he's way. younger. No. He's younger than that. You guys uh, think so? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a great judge of children's ages, but he looks pretty young, looks like- except for his haircut. Uh, so the video is, if you haven't seen it, it is a child who has uh, got his haircut like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> Love it He's so got much. the, uh, what or, would you call that, like a donut, a half donut? Yeah, just around the sides and Where then the shaved on the top. Bald, yeah. It's uh, like, uh, what is it, lemony? Lemony Snicket? Lemony yes, Snicket. I love those books. Yeah. yeah, so it's like that character too. And uh, so the mom posted it on TikTok and she said, am I a bad mom for letting my son get his hair cut like Mr. Burns? So let's uh, let's answer the question. Is that what bad do you guys or not? Think? Is that bad to let your... We'll say, we'll, we'll split the difference. We'll say 14. Yeah. Well, is it bad to let your 14-year-old get a Mr. Burns haircut? Well, I couldn't tell. I mean, it's it's too early for Halloween. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if it was, because what? who else went trending? This little kid who did a uh, Kevin from The Office. Oh, yeah? Uh, he did I guess a, that's a similar haircut, yeah, it's too, a similar isn't it? Haircut. Yeah. And so he was carrying around a pot of chili <laughs> and spilled it. And I think he went to, like, uh, one of the conventions I to love show him. Uh, so it's like that haircut. I think if it's for a costume, absolutely. But you'd have to kind of shave your head afterwards. But what if the kid just, uh, like, really likes Mr. Burns? 
I get. I mean, all right. He just really thinks he's funny. I like a lot of things, but that doesn't mean I have to do what he did. <laughs> you get your hair cut a lot. I mean, do you want to change it up to something like this? Yeah, I just couldn't imagine myself going with this look in my life right now, unfortunately. Yeah. If I got to a point where I didn't have hair on the top of my head, I think I would shave it all bald before I went uh, with before this. Before you have the sides. Yeah, yeah, the sides look pretty wild. I so, think as a mom, you have to save your son or daughter from looking ridiculous, and this would be one of those times where you have to step and say no. But what? It, maybe he needs to learn a lesson, though. <laughs> so like Why maybe do you have to? listen no. when you can. It's a controlled environment when you're a mom and the kid is 12 or something, and he wants to do something ridiculous. And you're like, okay, you want that? Let's see. Let's put. It, let's give you the Learning Mr. Burns lesson. haircut. Yeah. See how it does at school for you. Uh, but then later on, like instead, maybe he would have done something stupid when he was 20 instead, but he, he's thinking, oh yeah, I remember when I got that Mr. Burns haircut, I really wanted that. And then it didn't pan out. And, uh, so maybe this will teach him uh, before he's able to make his own decisions completely on his own. You know what I mean? I just be think it. that like in the moment you think things look a lot better than you do like five <laughs> years later. Like you look back at what you wore like five years ago or a picture of you when you thought you looked really good. <laughs> So he probably right now thinks this is like, this is cool, this is funny, and then like five years from now is when it'll come to the realization that it isn't. But he's so young, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care at all. He's not thinking like, when you're a little bit older, you're like, well, does she like me or not? And, you know, do I look good? That sort of thing. And he doesn't care. Yeah, but you think about like going out in public like this. Like, even if this was my child, if I was walking my kid (laughs) around who's 12 years old and he looked like this, I think as a parent, this reflects on you. It does? (laughs) Like, you look dumb for letting your kid look so dumb. I don't know. It could be kind of funny. He's not hurting anybody. He's not, but I think for me, like, my kid, no go on this haircut. Well, listen here, Isaiah. Here's a little lesson you got to learn. Every kid looks dumb at some point. (laughs) Yeah, but if I can avoid it. (laughs) goes through a dumb-looking phase, no matter how cool they are. Take me, for example. I went through a long one, but... Here I am today. With your long what, hair. That's what made me who I am. <laughs> All those bad fashion choices led me to who I am. Not that I'm like a fashion icon or anything. At least I wouldn't say that, but some others might. And uh, Some others? Some others <laughs> may say that. Who is this they you speak of? <laughs> well, I don't want to put words in anybody's <laughs> mouth, but there may be people out there who call me uh, a influencer, a fashion icon, uh, very sartorial, sure. they, they refer to me as. And, uh, and so all that said, you know, your choices as a child lead you to who you are today. And sometimes you make some bad choices when you're 12 years old, so like it's getting not, the Mr. Burns haircut. It's more about the journey along exactly. the way. I see. Your choices when you're 12 are a lot less, uh, consequential than your choices when you're a little older. So okay, well, you gotta learn some hard lessons along the way. Maybe he'll start a trend. So if you, uh, want the, uh, the Mr. Burns haircut, <laughs> the flip side is this could teach him all the wrong lessons because he's getting a lot of attention on TikTok. <laughs> Just wait till- <laughs> Yeah. He's, wait till he's 20 years old and he's doing even wilder things. That's yeah, what happens. That's he's, right. He went viral for this. What do you think is next is what happens. Yeah, that's actually a good point. He's going to hate his hair for the rest of his <laughs> yeah. life because no one will ever leave him alone about it. It will never be as, he'll ne- his hair will never be as popular as it is Aww. right now. <laughs> Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com Summer isn't quite behind us yet, is it? Uh, yeah, we have, I mean, a little bit longer. When do you it's, think the summer ends? It's September, isn't it? September? I mean, technically, I think it ends at, like, September 21st, right? That's when fall officially September begins. September 22nd is the first day of fall. But does September 13th still feel like summer to you? Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. It depends on the temperature. It shouldn't. I, guys, in my mind, I've moved on to winter. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know. You, you, yeah, that's the way you are. But the weather doesn't always agree. I'm just extra hot then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but with summer still going strong for a little while longer, and even into the fall, this can be an issue, mosquitoes. Yeah. Right? Especially, uh, we were just talking a few minutes ago about tailgating and stuff. Like, it's not like you stop going outside, and until it starts really cooling down, the mosquitoes are still going to be out and about. Do you ever feel like, uh, you ever wonder, like, do mosquitoes bite some people more than others? I think they've proven that. Yeah. There's they, certain things about certain people. Yeah, they actually do. And I've got some information here about what you can do. I feel like this really would have been more helpful at, like, Memorial Day versus Labor Day. But still, it's still interesting <laughs> to find out. You can remember for next summer. Yeah. So here's uh, thing number one that makes you more attractive to mosquitoes. And this is completely out of your control. So I'm sorry. But if you have type O blood, 
Unfortunately, that's the rare one, right? Yeah, you're fine. So, uh, well, you're not fine because you're going to get a lot of mosquitoes. And it's harder to get a blood donation. So, uh, if you ever get in a car accident or something. so. Okay, well, thank you for the two uh, downers there. Uh Yeah, you're right. But if you do donate blood, you're super helpful. So, you can be a a really uh, helpful person. I didn't Uh, know that it's only uh, female mosquitoes that bite. Yeah, and I also didn't know that uh, they say that mosquitoes don't actually feed on like when you say they feed they're not actually eating it mm-hmm. either it's just like drinking your blood or? right they're not uh it's not for food purposes it's not for nourishment it's for other stuff that they do uh also they say that uh ba- like the top thing that attracts mosquitoes just in general and that makes them go to humans is carbon dioxide because when we breathe out we read carbon, di- carbon dioxide they can sense that uh so different things that will make you uh, that will make more carbon dioxide in the air around you are would mean mosquitoes would be more attracted for example being pregnant pregnant women exhale more uh, carbon dioxide 21 percent more that's a lot that's weird I don't know why that is so then mosquitoes might bite you more I guess they're exhaling for two yeah oh <laughs> That's cute. Uh, and, and then the uh, another thing that uh, can attract mosquitoes to you because of the carbon dioxide situation, drinking. Drinking anything or just uh, no, alcohol? No, like alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, they say that uh, for one, it's possible they haven't proven this, but when you crack open a beer, uh, the carbon dioxide is coming out of the can right there or the, the beer bottle. So that's something. And then all because it's carbonated, but then also... Uh, drinking raises your body temperature and it makes you sweat more, which also attracts mosquitoes. If you sweat? Yeah. So uh, if you've got a friend that's like, oh, <laughs> I've got so many mosquito bites, they're either drunk or pregnant. They're drunk or pregnant. Or Hopefully they sweat not a both. Lot. Maybe Hopefully, they just sweat. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully not both at the same time. Well, that's interesting. That's I a mean, triple whammy. It just seems like we should not be outside, which I still try even as we move into the fall. Yeah. I'm no problem with that. But tailgating, though, Nikki, you can't do that indoors. No, I can't. I can do one of those um, uh, tents that have the screen stuff that uh-huh. you can still see outside and yeah. just go in and out. No, it's not the same. It is. I love the outdoors, but I also, uh, I'm a mosquito repellent so i don't exhale at all yeah, I know. and i'm not best. pregnant so yeah, perf- thanks for watching the worst of the riot since you made it this far you might as well like subscribe and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot, riot.